हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब येट माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट ऑल द न्यू वीडियो अपलोडेड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेनेडिक टेस्ट वर्सेज द ब्राडफोर्ड टेस्ट सो विल सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू टेस्ट एज वी हैव सीन ऑलरेडी सीन इन बेनेडिक्स इन ब्राडफोर्ड टेस्ट द दीज टू टेस्ट आर मेनली फॉर रिड्यूसिंग शुगर सो विल सी हाउ दे आर डिफरेंट <clears throat> so first we'll see, uh, we'll go and we'll see the principle for the benedict test and bradford test and benedict test we have seen uh, we are using benedict reagent and bradford test we are using benedict uh, bradford reagent <clears throat> in case of benedict test uh, we are using copper sulfate as a source of copper uh, which provides the copper plus 2 ion and in alkaline condition uh, it is ultimately gives us cu plus 1 ion that is cu plus oxide the color of uh, copper sulfate is blue the color of cu plus oxide is uh, brick red precipitate so because of carbohydrate because of uh, reducing sugar this copper sulfate is reduced to cu plus oxide means cu plus 2 is reduced to cu plus 1 that is in alkaline condition where well, if you see the bradford test in bradford test we are using copper plus 2 ion only but the source of copper plus 2 ion is copper acetate where well, the reaction is taking place in case of acidic environment not in alkaline environment the this is the major difference between the bendix test and bradford test is the reaction in condition is different in bendix test it is alkaline condition in bradford test it is acidic condition here also c plus copper plus 2 ion is reduced to copper plus 1 ion and the uh, color is converted from blue to brick red color <clears throat> now we'll see the dif difference between the reagents in case of benedict test we are using benedict reagent the reagent contains three components the first component is copper sulfate which ultimately gives us copper plus 2 ion second one is sodium citrate which normally keeps copper plus 2 in the plus 2 state and which does not allow cu to uh, precipitate in plus 2 forms and third one is sodium carbonate which provides the alkaline environment as bendix test bendix reagent reaction occurs in alkaline environment whereas in case of bradford test we are using the bradford reagent this bradford reagent normally contains two components one of the component is copper acetate which ultimately gives copper plus 2 ion so copper sulfate is equivalent to copper acetate both provides cu plus 2 ion and second one here we are using glycyl acetic acid or acetic acid this acetic acid makes environment acid acidic whereas here sodium carbonates makes environment alkaline so that is another difference now we will see the reaction condition copper plus sulfate gives us copper plus 2 which is converted into cu plus 1 plus ion that is reduction of plus 2 to plus 1 in alkaline conditions whereas in case of bradford test copper acetate gives copper plus 2 ion which is reduced to copper plus 1 ion in acidic environment so alkaline condition in case of benedict test is given by sodium carbonate whereas acidic environment provided by Uh, acetic acid or glycyl acetic acid in case of bradford test <coughs> next uh, difference is how where we are using bendix test and where we are using bradford test bendix test we are using for the difference be, differentiate between aldehyde versus ketone or more specifically we are can differentiate between aldose versus ketose so all the aldoses that is aldehyde containing carbohydrates plus alpha hydroxy ketone gives positive test whereas ketones except this alpha hydroxy ketone gives negative test so aldoses and alpha hydroxy ketone gives will, will give positive test whereas ketoses give rest of other ketoses will give negative test one of the example of alpha hydroxy ketones is fructose well bradford test is mainly differentiate with differentiation between the monosaccharides and disaccharides monosaccharides normally react very fast disaccharides reacts very slowly so disaccharide gives you late result if you see the result in case of benedict test 
the copper sulfate solution is blue in color so that is blue color means negative test fine ultimate color is brick red otherwise from blue to brick red color there are different colors we are getting depending on the carbohydrate concentration as we are seeing here whereas in case of bradford test we are getting only two either it will be positive or it will be negative if blue copper acetate color blue will be written blue that means negative test whereas if red precipitate is precipitated at the bottom of the test tube it means it is a positive test so that's all from today's lectures hope thank you very much hope for watching it hope you have understand and like the video in case you have any suggestions please write in the comment box if you like the video please press the like button and share it if you have any in interested in such more videos please subscribe my channel and press the bell button so that you will get all the notifications whenever a new video will be uploaded thank you very much